How is your mood after the Halloween feast? I bet you're feeling stuffed and energized, ready to organize your new furniture from the wheel. Am I right? Speaking of furniture, have you considered the Knight's Breath set? It follows the thematic of Sirius Black, featuring dark color tones and elements that are gloomy and, at times, inappropriate. The Knight's Breath set incorporates darkened aesthetics and occasional unconventional furnishings, including a cage and a dead tree. However, its furniture selection might not suffice for a room of regular proportions. So, given the elements of the Knight's Breath set, how can we create an enigmatic yet beautiful room? To further challenge ourselves and stay faithful to the Knight's Breath set, we will not mix any elements from other side sets, with the exception of herbology elements. Let's begin. We're going to start from the ground up and build our room. For better organization, let's switch the filter to Knight's Breath so that we can easily see and access only the required furniture. Now, let's take the first step and place the room's walls. Moving on. Let's replace the windows and find an appropriate spot for the fireplace. You can place the fireplace directly in the center by aligning it with the element on the ceiling. We can now proceed by placing the floor and fine-tuning the fireplace's position for maximum symmetry. Let's start by placing the carpet in the room. And when placing the carpet, it's perfectly fine if it overlaps a bit with the fireplace, as this actually adds a cozy ambiance to the room. Let's position two hanging chairs near the fireplace. Placing these hanging chairs may be a bit tricky, but with some effort and attention to detail, you can successfully arrange them near the fireplace. This arrangement is looking good. Now, let's proceed by placing a table in between the hanging chairs. Now that we have placed the table, we can adjust its size to ensure it is proportionate to the hanging chairs. Let's find a more comfortable spot for the table and add some garnishes like a cake and a teapot to enhance the cozy atmosphere. As we place the cake, let's gently enlarge it to make it look more appealing. The teapot looks fine in its original size, maintaining a good balance. To enhance the cozy atmosphere, we can place a stack of books and a gramophone near the fireplace. Imagine the comfort of reading your favorite books while surrounded by the gentle glow of the fire and the soft sounds of your chosen melodies from the gramophone. Now, let's change the record to get some inspiration for this cozy space. Since this corner is empty, let's take a moment to consider the concept and place a Dementor lamp as our first step. To begin decorating, let's place that unsightly tree in front of the lamp. Let's resize the tree to better suit the lamp's size. We shall place the Partner statue opposite the Dementor lamp to create a dramatic contrast and visual confrontation between light and darkness. With this table, we'll create a mysterious workbench that serves as a captivating decorative element in the room.
Feel free to place the magic orb, and don't worry if it's oversized. It will add to the mystic and enigmatic atmosphere of the workbench. With the book, you may want to consider placing it slightly off the table, giving the workstation a carefree and authentic touch. The placement of the black rose in a glass symbolizes isolation from society. Its dark hue, contrasted against the solitary glass cage, adds a melancholic tone to the workbench, accentuating the loneliness and sorrow felt by those in isolation. Let's place the cage near the workbench. You may consider placing a lit candle inside the cage. The flame represents hope in captivity, symbolizing the plight of Sirius Black's soul. To finish off the workbench, let's add some wall elements to complement the overall concept and make it complete. We might consider shrinking down the workbench's size to make it more realistic and proportional to the other elements in the room. We almost forgot about the pillows. To complete the look, place a light pillow in the light chair and a dark pillow in the dark chair. After placing the light and dark pillows in the hanging chairs, the fireplace looks more inviting and cozy than ever before. We are placing an appropriate door at the entrance of the room to fit the thematic concept of the space. With deliberate care, we will place the plant aquarium, making sure it perfectly conceals the floors of the lamp and tree. Inside the aquarium, there will be a single aquatic plant, creating a soothing environment while also drawing the eye away from any imperfections in the lamp or the tree with its natural beauty. Slowly and thoughtfully, let's position a lovely flower pot alongside the aquarium. The pot will add a vibrant touch of color and a delightful contrast in texture, harmonizing with the soothing ambience created by the solitary aquatic plant in the aquarium. We should adjust the windows, and then another aquarium will be placed along the wall. This addition will further enhance the room's tranquil ambience and create a visually appealing display. To conceal the cage's darker appearance, we will artfully arrange three pots around it. The added greenery will help disperse the gloomy atmosphere, creating a more inviting and aesthetically pleasing space. It would be a wonderful choice to place red roses, as they are well suited to climbing fences. Their vibrant color and graceful stems would add a beautiful touch to the setting and help to soften the look of the cage. As I currently do not have any roses available, I'll have to use a different type of flower for now. We'll adjust the windows to ensure that they are in the exact positions we desire. Then we'll place several aquariums along the wall to enhance the ambience and add visual interest to the space.
To create a slightly disheveled but whimsical feel, I placed a small aquarium beneath the statue. This unexpected detail adds character and intrigue to the environment, drawing the eye and making the area more visually interesting. For the center of the room, I have decided to use a Dementor fountain and place it facing the fireplace. The fountain will serve as a focal point and bring a touch of mystery to the setting, with the flames of the fireplace casting flickering shadows on its dark form. We will position the aura lamp above the Dementor fountain to add a magical and visually arresting effect. The flowing colors of the lamp will contrast beautifully with the dark and mysterious form of the fountain, creating a dazzling and captivating display. Let's carefully place the four aquariums around the floor circle in a way that is both aesthetically pleasing and balanced. By arranging them thoughtfully, we can create a visually captivating display that enhances the overall ambience of the room. Due to a minor glitch in the PC version of the game, there appears to be a light bug on the aura lamp. However, on the mobile version, everything seems to be functioning correctly, and the light effect appears as intended. To finish up, we'll add a selection of aquatic plants to the aquarium displays. These plants will help to enhance the appearance of the underwater setting inside the tanks. Excellent. We've finished assembling the room using only the Knight's Breath set and the various herbology elements. Let's take a moment to appreciate the final result and enjoy the unique atmosphere we've created in this space. In the quiet harmony of gloom and loneliness, the aquatic plants and fish in the aquarium dance slowly, creating a soothing and mellow symphony. As the fire dances in the fireplace, its warm light casts shadows that seem to soothe away your worries, creating a calming and introspective atmosphere. In memory of Sirius Black, a wizard with strength, spirit, and unwavering loyalty, Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more content, and we'll see you in the next episode.